Well, sex offenders living in your neighborhood tonight, an elderly Greenfield woman fights off an attack from a repeat offender. The attack raises many questions about the supervision of sex offenders, especially those who are considered mentally ill. 12 News reporter Colleen Henry investigates. Eunice Arnecki had just gotten home from the grocery store two weeks ago when she found a strange man in her dining room. I came up to him because I thought I knew him, but he had no teeth in his mouth. And he was dirty, dirty cap and everything else. And he's trying to hug me. Zarnecki says he dragged her into her bedroom and started tearing at her clothes. I said, I'm old, I'm old. I'm beating him on the head. He wouldn't stop. Soon, Zarnecki found a way out. He says, can we take a bath, which is the best thing. Oh, yes, I said, let me go get some towels. That's when she ran to a neighbor's and called police. We got a 911 call from a frantic elderly woman indicating that someone just attempted to rape her. When police arrived a few minutes later, they found the suspect walking down the street just a few houses from the victim's home. Police arrested 58 year old John O'Brien, a convicted sex offender with a record and history of mental illness dating back 30 years. Greenfield police say at the time of the attack, O'Brien was no longer under state supervision, but his mental health counselor was trying to have him committed. The worker was. Realized this individual is becoming more dangerous. He's not taking his medications, and they were in the process of trying to, you know, take steps. And unfortunately, it wasn't soon enough. Zarnecki says she's speaking out to warn others. Her attacker got in because her back door was unlocked. Keep their doors locked and look around, because my neighbor next door said he saw this guy walking around all the time. I've never seen him. You're pretty uh, gutsy. But now I'm still freaky every time anything happens. Angry and scared. Because I'm old, you know, and I'm not strong anymore. Zarnecki is just thankful her quick wit could save her. In Greenfield, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. Prosecutors charged O'Brien with second degree sexual assault. A judge has ordered a psychiatric evaluation as well to see if he is competent to stand trial. And if you want to learn where registered sex offenders are in your neighborhood, go to WISN.com. We have a link to the website in the On TV section.